Here's what I want you to understand. The opportunities that you have today, the opportunities that you have today have been given to you because of the choices you made, the habits you hold, the character that other people see in you, and the value they place on you. Does that make sense? What does that mean? That means that you get to decide what opportunities you are going to have in your life. You can't change that overnight because it takes 30 days at least to develop a habit. It takes longer than that for it to become part of your character and to add value to your life. Sometimes it's a lifelong process. However, you get to decide what opportunities you're going to have in life by the choices that you make. We want to say, no, someone had an opportunity. That's why they became a success. They were just lucky. It doesn't work that way. You get to choose the opportunities you have. All of you had the opportunity to come to this course, to come to this week, because of the choices you made, the habits you hold, the character that your counselors and your references saw in you, and the value they placed on you in those recommendations. You didn't just get, get an opportunity to come here. You created this opportunity for yourself. You created this opportunity. Does that make sense? You following with me? Okay, so um, you make better choices, develops better habits, creates better character, makes you more valuable, which creates more opportunities. What do you think happens when you get more opportunities? What do you think your reward is? More work. That's exactly right. It is, I'm going to put a different word on it. Your re great reward is problems. Your great reward is problems. You get to have more problems, and that is a great thing. That is a great thing, okay? We live in a society that is scared to death of problems, right? We run from problems. We are the ones that sit there and say, yeah, yeah, you know, pick up the phone. Ooh, that's mom, not answering that one. You know, uh, ooh, that's my principal, not answering that one. And we, we avoid our problems at all costs. We don't want to face our problems. We don't want to confront our problems. The reality is, is problems are a good thing. You see, I am one of the cruelest parents that you will ever meet. You believe that? It's true. I am one of the cruelest parents that you will ever meet because I will do whatever it takes to make sure my girls get up in the morning. Okay? I, I'll, I'll bang pots and pans. I'll do whatever it takes, play a little opera music. Um, I'll take a, a, a jar, a mason jar, you know, a glass mason jar, fill it full of glass marbles, and then you put it down in the deep freeze. And so when the, if one of the girls won't get out of bed, then you just go in there and open up the deep freeze, pull out the mason jar full of marbles, walk into the room, lift up the sheets, pour the marbles in bed with them. You cannot roll away from a freezing marble. It just rolls wherever you go. The only way to get away from the marbles is to get out of bed. Okay? I am a cruel parent. You're going to get out of bed. I don't care if it's a good hair day or a bad hair day. With four daughters, that's a big deal. I don't care if it's a good hair day or a bad hair day. You're going to go get in the car and you're going to go to this little place of torture that we call school, right? And you're going to be there on time, you're going to be ready to go, and I as a parent demand, demand that there be a teacher there in front of you every single day that intentionally puts problems in front of you, right? Why? Because I know that in learning how to solve problems, you become better as a person. In learning how to solve problems, you become greater as a person. So I intentionally put them in, want them to be in a position where problems are put in front of them. Now, here's the key. We think that if once I graduate from high school, I'll have fewer problems. Once I get a college degree, I'll have fewer problems. Once I start making money, I'll have fewer problems. The exact opposite is true. The reality is, is the more successful you become, the more problems you're going to face. The more problems you're going to face. And here's the key. I can tell you right now, and this is a good way for you to check yourself and see what kind of person you are and whether you need to make changes in your life. Are you listening? The success that you're going to have in life is directly determined. It's directly proportional to how you see this right here. Do you see problems as an obstacle? If so, you lose focus and you're limiting the success that you're going to have in your life? Or do you see problems as yet another opportunity to make better choices? How do you see problems? It's not just about being a positive person. It's about problem-solving skills. 
It's about understanding and looking for problems and understanding that the problems that you have in your life, the problems that you have in your life are your greatest opportunity to succeed. It's not your strengths. It's not the things that are going well. It's when you face a problem because what people are looking for in this world is they are looking for problem solvers.